Okay, Bella Gang, so first things first, let's talk about just the title of being single. Just because you're single doesn't mean that you're not lit, doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. A lot of the times when we're single, we feel so alone, we feel like lonely, like it's maybe it's us, like why are we single? All of our friends is in a relationship, we go on Instagram, everybody's in a goddamn relationship, and we be the only one out the group that never have a man, never got a man. Girl, half the time that be me, okay? Because guys nowadays, like they're just so disposable and everything they do is just like so temporary okay so a lot of the times it don't even be you it's guys guys never know what the goddamn want they never know what they want so just because a guy doesn't know what he want doesn't mean that you know you should take that as there's something wrong with me no sis that little boy is confused he's a confused grown men yes there are grown men that still little boys at heart and they they just toy with you and play with you that's what little boys do they play with you and god is gonna send you that grown man but in the meantime it's time for your glow up okay so the first thing you want to do is realize that there's nothing wrong with you that you will eventually find somebody um how many of us have like we in a relationship now and we never would have thought we would have been in like a healthy happy relationship because we have so many failed relationships you know what i'm saying it happens to the best of us okay pretty girls big girls ugly girls whatever it doesn't matter what type of girls okay we get dumped and we get played raise your hand if you ever got played before because huh i could just count on my hands and, and lose count on how many times I've been in F-boy situations. Like I said, it happens to the best of us, sis. Don't worry, okay? Yes, I've been played too, trust me. And it's not a good feeling, but that has nothing to do with why you're single, okay? It has nothing to do with you. So get that out your brain. I don't want my Bella game having low confidence, okay? Step your confidence game up. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. I mean, sometimes we probably take it too far. We act a little crazy, but... A nine times out of ten is never you. I'm tr I'm telling you, it's never you. Especially if a guy cheated on you for no reason. He tells you it's not you, it's me. He he. That's when a guy tells you that. That means that you were too perfect for him. Literally too goddamn perfect. And it's okay. He's gonna get his karma. The karma of messing over a good woman is the bitch you end up with okay trust me because usually guys always downgrade they never really level up if you ask me number two because i wrote this down is if you're single don't be so quick to talk to another guy right away. You know, half the time if we're single, especially if you're just coming out of a relationship, your heart is still broken. You're still going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, some days you want to cry. Some days you miss your ex. Some days you hate him. Some days you miss him. Your emotions are everywhere. So I wouldn't advise you to date right away because you might take out what happened in your relationship with the next guy and you don't want to run him off like that. Don't be that girl that's on a first date talking about her ex. Oh, he's an F boy, but you nothing like Derek. You ain't nothing like that you ain't I, I know you're gonna treat me better than my ex Derek Derek ain't shit don't run Derek out don't run I mean don't run your future boo your future husband out the door because you want to talk about your ex Derek all day forget Derek okay um when you feel like you're really over your ex is when you stop talking about your ex now if you like me then you <laughs> then you talk about your ex like me, part of me getting over somebody for some reason, I got to talk about you all goddamn day. Like, my best friend, she'd be like, all right, like, you told me that story, okay? All right, but I'm going to tell you again because I'm hurting. Like, I need you to be there for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be stressing our own goddamn friends out from talking about our exes. But it's therapeutic. Try not to do it too much because then nobody's going to really want to hang out with you, call you to hang out because they know you're going to be talking about Derek all the time. No. Okay, try your best not to bring him up because the more you bring him up, you're going to think about him. So even though you could get a, you, you probably could have like, even though it probably works where the more you talk about somebody, you could try, it could help you get over with somebody, someone, but it can also make you thinking about them to the point where you really miss them and you really have trouble with letting them go. Being single has a lot to do with letting go of that hurt, letting go of that pain, but how are you going to let that go if you keep talking about him? So even though I do it too, we talk about our exes, talk about them, but that's not going to bring them back and that's not going to change the status of you guys' relationship. So make sure that you limit talking about your ex because... Part of being single means that you want to glow up. That's not glowing up, sis. That's going backwards. So don't talk about Derek no more, okay? And I'm just using Derek as an example. No, I never had a man named Derek. I don't even know a guy named Derek. I just using Derek as a name, okay? So don't don't bring them up, okay? If you want to level up, um, 
that's like I said, it's going backwards. What you want to do is whatever you did wrong in that relationship, do right for the next person. But before you get right for the next person, you got to get right with yourself. That's very important. So if you wasn't in school because you was focused on your man so much, enroll in school. Get your education. Level up mentally. Because when you, you know, you know, I mean, school is not for everyone. Sometimes, you know, a lot of us, some people don't want to go back to school. Don't feel like college is the way out. But honestly, I was one of those people that I was like, mm, I don't need school. But I'm going to enroll my ass right back in college because I feel like, I don't want to be my own boss, so in order for me to my own, be my own boss, I want to be able to run my business efficient, efficiently, efficiently, okay, very efficiently, and I don't want to make no room for mistakes, and I feel like, you know, I want to go back to school for business, and when I was talking to um, the dude I was talking to, I didn't really want to go to school for no business, I wanted to get with his, I, wanted, I was all in his business, I wasn't worried about getting my business degree, you know, leveling up in and, and, and a positive way for me, everything was all about him. And I noticed that that's not healthy. We do it all. We do it all the time. Like um, when we first meet somebody, we could be like aspiring rapper, aspiring actress, or aspiring whatever. And then we put our own dreams on hold because now we're in a new relationship where we have to take time to nourish. We got to take time to make sure he don't cheat. So we got to spend mad time with him. No, a healthy relationship is a guy that's gonna be like, babe, follow your goals. Don't let me distract you. If you need help, I got you. You need money to put towards your business, I got you. That's when you know. He's not holding you back, and that's the right partner to be with. Sis, I advise you to be single. If you with somebody that's very controlling, that doesn't want to wear, want you to wear certain things, doesn't want to want you to wear makeup and stuff like that, pretty much trying to tear who you are down. Like before you met them, like tear that person down. No, because when a guy starts doing that, he's mind controlling you. Once a guy can get into your thoughts and can control you, you in your sunken stage, and you got to get out. It's gonna be hard for you to get out. So don't ever make a man um feel like he could control you. He can't control you. The only person that could control you is the man above. Is God. He's the only one that has any say so because he created us. Okay, he created your beautiful fine self. So when you feel yourself like deterring from your goals, that's wrong. So it's okay. Like if you guys break up, that's your time. I feel like it's very low. Okay. I feel like um when you guys break up, that's your time to level up and show him. He's gonna see you in passing maybe a few months later or maybe a year later. And when you guys bump heads again and have a a little cordial conversation. Oh, what you doing with your time now? Oh, I just graduated. Um, I just finished. I went back to school to finish Derek, and I graduated. This is my degree. He's gonna look at you like, damn, like Shorty really leveled up. You, <laughs> you're damn right. You know what I'm saying? What better way to level up than, you know, bettering yourself by getting a higher education? There's nothing wrong with getting your education. Or let's say if you was, he made you feel self-conscious. He made you feel fat when you was together. You know, there's a lot of success stories I hear of girls. There was like three. 300 pounds then went back down to like 150 they looking better than ever and they always say oh i was in a relationship he used to call me fat he used to body shame me now look you ever seen that show um chloe kardashian's the reality show um it was about people seeking revenge on people that hurt them in the past yeah that's real life like sometimes you need it's crazy like even though we should be able to like lose weight on our own nobody should really tell us that or nobody should make us feel like all right i'm gonna I'm a do this but you know what? It takes a little hurt to motivate you. That's facts. Like, I know me, when my ex broke up with me and talking about I wasn't doing nothing with myself, I leveled up. That's when I got my channel. I was going back to school. My music started getting a little more clout. You know what I'm saying? Now that, now it's really getting, I'm really getting there. And it's like, they seeing it. They may not comment, but trust me, social media is very small and your art circle is very small. So whoever knows your ex is telling them all those good things about you. So keep making sure that you're glowing up in every way possible, okay? So go to school. If you feel like you gain like 100 pounds from from the whole breakup, from the whole relationship, sis, go in that gym and lose that 100 pounds and you'll feel so good about yourself. Then post some fire-ass flicks on the gram and everybody who knows you, including him, including Derek, is going to see your glow up, sis. Like, the best revenge ever is to glow up. The best revenge ever is to, motiv is to be motivated by those who hurt you because, you know what I'm saying, people who hurt us, it just makes us feel like, all right, I'm going to show you. It just puts us in that mentality, in that state of mind. All right, you did this to me. I'm gonna show you good. Keep that same energy sis. I'm telling you keep that same energy and glow up on the ass 
Um, the next thing is understand that one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, you know what? Maybe you're the same guy that fat shamed you. Another guy loves his BBW. Okay, like Drake says, I like my girl's BBW. Okay, L like... It's literally the things that someone hate about you, someone could love about you. It could be somebody's goddamn fetish, okay? You might have big feet and your, your freaking ex was like, I don't like you because you have big feet. And your new man could love your feet. Like, he has this fit, a fetish for your toes. You know what I'm saying? Literally, like, I'm telling you, there's, and there's so many people on this earth. is one one person that, that God made specifically for you and designed and beautifully created by you. Stay in prayer. You know what I'm saying? We pray about everything. We pray about God to give us keep us strong keep us safe keep us healthy you can it's okay to pray about a man too it's okay you know god said you could come to him for anything and he will bless you with just that but you got to be that type of woman so you can't say oh i want a man with a car i want a man with a good credit score i want a man to do this do that if your ass ain't got a good credit score or if you don't got no car you know what i'm saying you want to match that level up you want to be that woman so when that right man comes he knows that he got to step his game up because you got your itch together you driving, you in school, even if you're not in school, you got a good job, you making your own money, you're not depending on him. Let these guys know that you don't really need them, okay, that you just want them, but you don't need them. They're not a necessity, honey, okay? They're not a necessity. The only necessity that there is in life is you. You should be your own necessity. You should be always taking care of yourself. Whether you're in a relationship or not, make sure your hair is fleeky, your lashes is done, your makeup is done. Even if you don't wear makeup, you're not a makeup person, good. Still, keep your, your face clear and clean. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Be the best part of you, the best version of you always. Don't slack. Okay, you know, if you if you out of your relationship and you feel like, you know, ugly and stuff like that, that's because you're making yourself feel ugly. You know what I'm saying? Go out, buy a new wardrobe, get some new panties, get your, get a new bra so you can feel sexy about yourself again. Okay, a lot of the times we rely on men to make us feel sexy and that's dead wrong. Because I used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, if you think I, you said I'm beautiful, so I must really be beautiful. No, look at yourself in the mirror and say you're beautiful. Find those good qualities about yourself and keep selling them to yourself. self Affirmations. I always say it. Every time you feel bad about yourself, repeat and say it loud. Everything good that you like about yourself, and you're gonna feel good. If you're not in a, if you're in a bad mood, smile. Once you smile, it immediately puts you in a good mood. Even if you don't want to, get yourself out that funk. The only person that could get you out that funk is you. So if you're single, don't mope around. Don't be sad. Don't stay in the crib all day crying and listening to, to sad songs, that's not going to get you to that glow up. I want you to be, in order for you to be comfortable with being single, you really got to be comfortable in being single. What I mean by that is go out and explore. How are you going to meet new people? How are you going to meet your future bae if you're always home? So if you became, if you became like an introvert after your, your, your breakup, that's a no-no. Go out, you know, go out with your friends, go to lounges, let your hair down. When you go out, be the life of the party, dance. Don't be in a corner all huddled up like, like, damn, I want to go home and think about Derek. No, because guess what? Derek, while you thinking about him, he is, he is making out with somebody. He is living his best life. He is sleeping with somebody as we speak. On God, he ain't worried about you. Okay? Because if he was worried about you, he would never break up with you. And y'all would never be single. Okay? Um, if a guy breaks up with you... Especially if he break up with you, don't go back to him because it's like once he see your glow up, now he want to be with you. If you be with him after your glow up, that's 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 basically like that's basically like ruining everything that you work hard for. Okay, he just the only reason why he wants you back is because you look like a better version. But no, he should have he should have saw that better version in you before. It shouldn't have to it shouldn't have to have to take you glowing up for him to say, oh, maybe she is the woman for me. Uh, maybe you're not the guy for me now. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, sis, get yourself together and you'll be all right. And what else? Yeah, I pretty much said all five things that... I'm sorry, guys. Every time I speak to you, like, my throat gets so dry. Okay. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Like, that's what I did to get over my situation. And in order for you to be single, you literally just have to make yourself happy, even if you're not happy. Because nine times out of ten, those happy relationships that we always say is goals is really not 
what you really think it is okay everything that glitters is in gold sometimes people in a relationship wish they could be single because they have to go through somebody going through their phone they gotta go through oh what you doing where you at you know what i'm saying when you're single you don't have to report to nobody that's the beauty of being single this is a time where you suffer just your selfish years you know you could you know you could just let your hair down go out vacation don't worry about relationships eventually it's gonna come to you anytime you force something it it never turns out right. Even if you meet somebody, don't just meet somebody and say, okay, that's going to be the one for me. Date. Date. Talk to different guys at once. Don't sleep with them, but talk to different guys at once to see who you're really going to give your time and energy to. Because what you don't want to do is glow up and go right back to the same type of guy that made you feel bad about yourself in the first place. A lot of the times, we always go for that one type, and that one type is always the ones that's never good for us. So make sure... That if you with a new guy, he's nothing like your ex. Or you're going to have to do that glow up all over again and follow these same steps that I wrote on my paper all over again. And we're not doing that, okay? You deserve better. And sis, Bella Gang, I just want to say, this is another girl talk. This, unfortunately, is the end of this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, I just want to say that you guys are bomb. Always remember that you are bomb, 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 bomb. Okay, I know a lot of you write to me. I don't get to write to you guys back because a lot of you. But whatever the situation is, I just want you to know that you're a bomb. And don't let nobody make you think otherwise, okay? And just like you're single, I'm single too. We can be single together, sis, and glow up on their ass together, okay? And... Once you guys see, one day, okay, one day, I'm going to have my boo thing on my channel. You know, I'm single right now, but I have faith that one day I'm going to have my boo thing. I'm going to be doing husband tags, okay? Not even a boyfriend. God's going to send me my husband. Husband tags, okay? In my future, you can be like, wow, I remember when she was talking about it. Don't force it. And she didn't force it. And she's all happy now. Look at them doing channels and doing couple stuff on her channel. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to happen for you. As long as you don't rush it and as long as you know that it has nothing to do with you with, with being single. This is your moment to just glow up, okay? Lose that weight. Get that job. Work harder, okay? Go out more. Dress nicer. You know what I'm saying? Don't let yourself go. That's what you don't want to do. Do not let yourself go. That's a no-no, okay? But again, don't let yourself go. I love you guys. Keep a smile on that pretty face. And until next time, mwah.